This is my car here. As a pastor, Martin Dodson is used to turning moments into lessons. Yeah. He just wasn't expecting this particular one today. It just says you're taking not from me, but you're taking from God's house. That's the part that bothers me the most. Martin is the pastor for Mount Pleasant Church in Seattle's Beacon Hill. All of a sudden, I tried to drive down the road and I felt a breeze. This morning, on his way to his other job, he noticed that his back window had been punched out. Nothing seemed to be taken until he opened his trunk. And that's when I didn't see. They took the water, they took the, the toilet tissue, which is three, three big things of Angel Soft, and then the, the wipes. Cleaning supplies he used to sanitize chairs and surfaces used by his congregation, gone. Now I'm trying to protect the church people, my people that I'm pastoring. But the $200 Bose speaker also in the trunk, that was still there. And they chose the toilet tissue over the bows. It's a true sign of the times. Recently, we've been seeing a lot of images like this. Lines at Costco wrapping around the outside of the building, and inside, more lines and empty shelves in the midst of the coronavirus outbreak. They're concerned, and they have a right to be, but I'm letting them know that if they trust God, they can get through this. As a faith leader, Martin understands the anxiety, even addressing it with his own congregation. But the lesson here, lies in the ugliness it might tempt us to commit. Times were desperate, but you just could have came and asked instead of breaking into a car. He hopes in our need to take care of ourselves, we do not leave our neighbors behind. If you want to be treated good, you treat your neighbor good, because when this is all over, you're going to need your neighbor again.